We initially got information about five months ago that uh, there was uh, suspect activity going on at an address in Forestdale and as a result of that information we've uh, conducted some surveillance uh, over a period of time to confirm uh, what we thought might have been a, uh, a drug operation going on and as a result of that, uh, that uh, surveillance we've uh, executed a search warrant uh, yesterday and uh, uh, located quite a substantial amount of cannabis uh, grown hydroponically. How many rooms and what rooms was it growing? It's probably a case of what room it wasn't being grown in. Uh, there were seven rooms in the, the, the premises being used, including a, a small granny flat to the side. Uh, every room had, or the, of the seven rooms, uh, cannabis, was, cannabis was being grown in, uh, in all rooms at different stages, from seedling stage to uh, uh, one room which contained uh, cannabis approximately two metres tall. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was uh, being quite, grown quite well. Kitchen, even the kitchen had drugs in the uh, fridge. We, had, uh, we located steroids in the, the kitchen, in the uh, fridge. Uh, the bathrooms uh, were being used to uh, eliminate liquid from, from some of the, uh, the, the hydroponic setups. So yeah, it was uh, quite extensive. Uh, every room had lighting. Uh, it had uh, a substantial setup with regards to exhaust fans to uh, eliminate uh, odour. And uh, yeah, it was quite a sophisticated setup. One, one we haven't seen for a while. Yeah, mature plants. There was a couple of rooms there where uh, plants ranged from 1.5 to 2 metres tall uh, and they wouldn't have been far off being uh, at the stage where they could have been cultivated. There was uh, uh, bags located of leaf uh, that had been uh, obviously chopped up, ready to go. And there were also bags there where um, it looked like it was just bags of discard. So even the bags of discarded leaf was quite substantive. substantive. He also had bags, uh, also had uh, uh, propagated some of the stems in a bid to obviously uh, grow more, uh, more trees. And how was he stealing the power? Uh, power was coming in from, uh, from the mains, from the roadside. Uh, he has uh, illegally obtained that power and uh, Energex were out yesterday to uh, ensure that that, uh, that ceased and uh, the premises was made safe. How pungent was it? Pungent, uh, we knocked on the front door uh, and you could smell it from the doorway. Yeah. What do your neighbours say? Are they surprised to be living inside? Uh, we had neighbours come up to us. Uh, they thought maybe uh, a serious crime had taken place or a violent crime of some sort. Uh, they had no idea who lived at the address. Uh, they, they said they didn't see uh, many people there at all. Uh, it was uh, quite an eye opener for uh, to the two, two neighbours I spoke to. They were quite, uh, quite surprised to know that this was going on uh, in their neighbourhood. He lived in, in that house? Yeah, apparently. Uh, I don't know how he managed to do that, but uh, I, I lasted about 20 minutes inside the house before I was getting a headache, so uh, he's obviously a bit more tolerant than I am. Mm. How significant is this seizure for you guys? It's very significant. Um, it's got a street value of uh, $2.2 million at this stage, conservatively, uh, and it flows on to so many other areas. Um, if we can take $2.2 .2 million worth of uh, marijuana or cannabis off the road um, means people aren't drug driving. Uh, it certainly uh, dents the drug industry, uh, you know, and um, we know that there is a nexus between property crime and, uh, and traffic related injuries with um, drugs in people's systems. So uh, certainly um, society's a bit of a winner in regards to that and certainly innocent people who, um, you know, get ploughed into by people who are drug affected when they're driving. Any idea mm. where no, none at this stage. Uh, we've still got quite a bit of uh, investigation to go. Uh, the, the actual dismantling of the, uh, the hydroponic setup is, is going to take the better part to two and a half days. And I dare say uh, the length of time to investigate uh, the follow up and the intelligence that we get out of this address will be even longer. So it'll be an ongoing investigation for quite a while. Can we expect more arrests? Uh, I believe so, yeah. With what we've, uh, with what we've located so far, there's certainly. Um, Information to suggest that further arrests will be um, down the track. Is there a suggestion of some bikey links? Uh, certainly, it's an organised setup, but uh, as far as being an organised outlaw motorcycle gang setup, that's yet to be determined. But we'll certainly be looking at all avenues. Should it mm. serve as a warning that you know if you're going to do this, you're going to get caught? Uh, definitely, definitely. Uh, Crime Stoppers is. Uh, uh, where we initially got this information. Uh, we take the Time Stoppers uh, information quite seriously and uh, when uh, we get a little bit of information like that and we can value add to it with our own work, 
it certainly shows that um, um, we can act on that and, and produce some good results. So I would just urge people to, um, if they do, you know, even if it just seems a little bit off and they're not sure what's going on, um, it's certainly something that can be followed up and this can be the result sometimes.